Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'd like to uh, start this by saying how this program is going to go. Uh, first, I will introduce Mr. Blank, and he will introduce our next head football coach. Um, reminder that media members, we will uh, do one-on-one -on -one interview sessions afterwards in the team meeting room. Uh, fans and media members are welcome to ask questions uh, after coach is finished with his statements. Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce our director of athletics, Dave Blank. Well, I appreciate that, but I want to acknowledge you've already given me a standing ovation. So, <laughs> so here we are, the sun's shining another day, right? Another day in Elon football. Two years ago, we started a process for our football program to build it from the ground up. Our goal was to build that program and compete for championships and postseason play year in and year out. Over these two years, we've taken great meaningful steps, and I thought I'd just point out back-to-back -back trips to the playoffs, top 15 rankings in both seasons, a top five ranking this season, beating key rivals and many top 25 opponents along the way. Uh, this is obviously a program that's got unbelievable momentum right now. As I began this search, though, the transition of uh, many of our players in our program that have been faced with over their time that they've been here was not lost on my mind. Sometimes change can be a catalyst, and other times staying the course can be the right thing. Two years ago, we installed a system that we believed in. Our coaches sold it. The administration, the athletic department, everybody bought in. But most importantly, our players bought in, and they led the way. Over the past few days, I've been overwhelmed with interest in this position. And like our university, our football program is a program that's on the rise and surely coveted around the nation. What we were looking for was someone who's passionate about winning football games, who embraces the well-being of our student athletes, who leads our team with integrity, who would be a positive motivator, and who's committed to the academic mission of our institution. And lastly, if we could get it, someone that really understands what it's like to be here at Elon. But many of you know me, so you know that I always see things first as a coach. And one of the things I'm most proud of during my years here at Elon are all the relationships I've built with our student athletes. And it was critically important to me from the outset to get feedback from our football players, which I did. They demonstrated great maturity and leadership during this process. And I want to say thanks to all of them who are either here or out there listening for your patience and for your trust in me and for your trust in our president and everyone involved in this process to bring us the right leader. It was their input that led me straight to the continuity as a priority in this process. They made it clear to me that the success of our program over the last two years came from them as players and from those in the entire program a family, not just a person. Family's important to me. And Elon's a place where family's important. Tony Trishiani is family. If you ever come to an Elon football practice, you'll probably see me and Donna <laughs> sitting on the bank. And this year, you probably would have seen me sitting right in front of the defense. I know Tony did every day. I've watched him in our practices. I've watched him on our sidelines. And unfortunately, I've watched him on the opposition sidelines. I know what we're getting. And I'm really excited about what we're getting. He's a passionate coach. If any of you ever sat behind our defensive bench, you've seen that passion. You've seen his skill as a communicator. You've seen how he's a positive coach. 
And if you've watched any of his defenses, you've seen how well his players respond to him. He grew up in a football coaching family, including his dad and his brother John, who's currently a coach at St. Anselm. Every day, talking football. Every meal, talking football. His college football began as a player in Spring at Springfield College, where he was a New England Rookie of the Year and eventually the Springfield College Athlete of the Year. He has 25 years of experience coaching football, and this most impressively, he's been a head coach, he's been an offensive coordinator, a defensive coordinator, and a special teams coordinator. He's done it all. In the midst of that 25 year span, he's had 13 years of experience in the CAA, in our conference, including New Hampshire, Villanova, and of course here at Elon. For five seasons, he was the head football coach at Whitehall High School in Pennsylvania. And during that time, he, had, he went to three Eastern Conference 4A playoff appearances, including a 2009 conference championship. In February of 2012, he joined Villanova University as a defensive backs coach. While he was there in 2012, they were the CAA champions. In 2014, they were the NCAA quarterfinalists. And in 2016, they made the playoffs again but their defense was ranked first in the country in scoring defense and in total defense. And unfortunately, we got to see that defense here in Rhodes Stadium. <laughs> After the 2016 season, Tony came back to Elon to become our defensive coordinator and assistant head coach. During the past two years, our total defense has dropped over 62 yards per game and our opponent's scoring has decreased by a little over a touchdown per game. He's guided seven of our players to all CAA conference honors, including Warren Messer, who's been named to multiple All-American teams. This guy's been around a lot of football success, and I don't have any doubt he'll keep it going. Tony, we look forward to your leadership, your commitment to the experiences of our student athletes that I know that you will continue because I know how important our student athletes are to you. And we're so happy that you and your wife, Julie, and your children are gonna continue to be a part of the Elon family. And we hope that Shane and Hannah will make it to a lot of the games. Ladies and gentlemen, our new head football coach, Tony Trishion. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Coach Blank. Uh, I am so proud to be the head football coach at Elon University. Uh, I'd like to thank President Book, our provost, Dr. Stephen House, our AD, Coach Blank, and the rest of the administration for the opportunity to lead our football program and student athletes. During my tenure, I've watched our players and staff fully commit to a culture of, excel culture of excellence, both on the field and in the classroom and I'm excited and eager to continue what we've started together. Uh, I, like Coach said, I come from a football family, so you know, I've, I was trained to play and coach football since I was born. Uh, I've played and coached in a lot of football games, uh, but today is by far the greatest day in my football career. Uh, I wanna thank my wife, Julie. Um, she's my biggest fan, the love of my life, um, if you haven't met her, you will. She's part of the family, uh, and she's all in. So, um, I'd like to thank Coach Signetti. You know, for everything he's done for us over the last two years to transform our football program. You know, we wouldn't be where we are now, and he wouldn't without him, and he wouldn't be at JMU without us. <laughs> you know. Our administration did an unbelievable job getting this done in 48 hours. Um, it, it shows their commitment to our players, to our staff, and fan base. It speaks volumes about their continued dedication to our program uh, and to compete for championships. At the end of the day, I believe this transition will bring our team closer. Okay? Um, when our players return to campus on January 2nd, all right, we're going to focus on the day-to-day 
it's a process. You know, they're going to get in the weight room with Coach DeMarco, continue with our off-season program. My first priority will be to secure this recruiting class and, and put a staff together, you know, that, that will help us continue uh, our winning tradition here at Elon. The bottom line, okay, we're going to continue to recruit talented student athletes who have high character and a passion for football. All right, I'm going to look for those same qualities in our staff. All right, um, and our assistant coaches. Together, we'll continue to hold our kids to the high standards and expectations of our program and provide a source of pride for the entire Elon community. We've got, we've got five coaches who are in the room here today who have chosen to stay here with me. Okay, so to our players. And we've got 257 days, okay, until we line up over in Greensboro against North Carolina A&T. And I look forward to seeing the entire Elon football family, okay, our alums, our fan base, our tailgaters, 7 a.m., all right? Uh, but really looking forward to the next days, all right? And it's going to be one day at a time, and it's a process, and we're going to focus on getting better every day. Thank you all so much for coming here. Time we'll take questions. Um, if you have a question, please raise your hand and we will give you a microphone so everyone can hear you. Donna. <laughs> will practices still be open? Practices will still be open, yes. Thank you. For, for people that I recognize. Okay. <laughs> uh, coach, over here. Yes. Right, okay. Um, I was wondering, uh, we have a lot of early commits, yes. and uh, I know that uh, you've been talking to them. How does, it, how does it sound? Noble, it sounds great. Okay. We have, we have secured the commitments that we had. Uh, the kids that I spoke to are excited about the decision, and um, they're with us. I haven't had a chance to speak to all of them yet. It's difficult during the day. When they're in school and in class, it's tough to get them on the cell phone since this morning's announcement, but um, we feel really good about the class. Adam? Yes. Adam, I'm very fortunate. I've worked for some great football coaches. Um, it started at my alma mater at Springfield College with Mike DeLong. He was there for 31 years. I learned commitment. I learned how to be a teacher from him. Um, he, he was there as I grew up from a young man uh, to an adult. Uh, and then, really, you know, I, I, I went to the University of New Hampshire. Bill Bowes was the head coach. He was at the University of New Hampshire for 29 years. He had one losing season. Uh, Sean McDonald took over. The next year, uh, Coach McDonald's been doing it ever since there. And, uh, you know, at the University of New Hampshire, I learned a lot about kind of doing more with less, a blue-collar attitude. I learned a lot from, from those guys up there at New Hampshire and, and from Chip Kelly, who was on that staff as well, and, and my first job coaching the running backs with him. Um, learned a lot. Uh, you know, from there, I, I joined Pete Lembo. I learned a lot about organizational skills, um, a lot about being a forward thinker, you know, being organized, um, managing a football team, uh, recruiting, and uh, came from Lehigh to here with him, and um, and got to for for the first time, you know, get planted here at, at Elon, and um, and and start to learn what this place was all about, um, and then um, Coach Andy Talley, 32 years at Villanova, again commitment. Um, and I learned a lot about him, building relationships, recruiting. He was a servant leader. It was all about the staff, making sure the staff had everything they needed to do, and then, you know, held them accountable to it. Um, so I, I've had some, I'm very fortunate to have had some great mentors, um, you know, in my professional career.
approach to the program has been really impressive so far. It's unbelievable from top to bottom. Can you talk about who's staying? Can you tell us who's staying? And also, maybe some, some of your thoughts in terms of pulling some of the, some of the guys that are going to go. Sure. We'll start right at the top. Drew Fulmer is our offensive coordinator, and he's going to continue to be our offensive coordinator. Uh, Matt Merritt is our running backs coach and special teams coordinator. Uh, Clay Browning is our tight ends coach. And, and Dylan Lucas. <laughs> and, and Dylan Lucas will continue to be an assistant on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah. As far as speaking for the, you know, the future hires in this staff, like I said, I'm looking for guys who are talented as football coaches, guys who are teachers, because that's important. We need to continue to develop our student athletes. And that's where we're going to have success here at Elon. It's not going to be in the transfer market. Okay, it's not going to be bringing freshmen in and playing a bunch of freshmen every year. You know, for us to really have success and win championships here, we've got to be able to develop our players. We've got to have competition inside the program and develop those guys. So I'm looking for coaches that are talented, guys who are teachers, guys who have high character, and guys who are passionate about football. No, you're, it's okay. My plan is to keep our scheme the same, keep our terminology the same. So, um, you know, there's people in my coaching tree um, that I'm familiar with, and that's the direction I'm planning to go. Um, in the end, could I end up calling the defense? Possibly. I'll do what's best for our football program and our kids. But we've, we've come too far here in the last two years, Adam. You know, our kids, they don't need to be learning new terminology, new techniques. You know, some of them will be hearing a different voice, but they'll be hearing the same message, the same techniques, and we need to continue to get better. <laughs> I would love to bring my brother down here in some capacity and hopefully someday be able to coach with him, but he's a great consultant. He's a phone call away. Very good, hon. You know, it's, it's, a, I mean, it's a lifelong dream to, to stand up here and be the head coach and, and lead our kids and our staff. Um, so you don't know when it's going to come, Adam. You know, you just got to be prepared. You know, and, and I've been preparing for this, you know, my whole life. And um, so when, and you never know when it's going to come. You get those moments, those, those moments where you think it might be around the corner and then it's not. You know, I, I, I haven't gone after many head coaching jobs. It needs to be the right job. This is the right job. This is the right time. I'm ready. I'm prepared. And, and I'm anxious about it. Very good. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. At this time, Coach will be available for a few minutes to shake some, sand, shake some hands, say hello to everyone, and then we'll move on to the team meeting room. Again, thank you for joining us. Have a great rest of your day.